in this video we are going to discuss about lines of force from there we will define in the light of lines of force we will define electric field or we call it electric field intensity from there electric flux once we define electric flux then we will talk about gauss law so it will be better to start our discussion with lines of force in order to understand gauss law fully so what is first a line of force because if you drop uh, if you drop a mass then the mass falls down towards the earth we say that the gravitational field attracted the mass towards the earth so we, we are not able to see the presence of gravitational field in the same line if there is a charge surrounding the charge there will be electric field we cannot see that so in order so if we are able to see the electric field we will better be able to comprehend it so michael faraday suggested an idea to visualize electric field what he said here yeah, in order to visualize electric field you can draw lines of force so how do we draw lines of force it is a path traveled by a positive charge a unit positive charge here it is a convention so it's purely imaginary so who can produce an electric field so far we have been discussing about point charge if there is a point charge so in this surrounding this point charge will be electric field which you are not able to see what you're going to do is you're going to place a positive charge and you're going to look at how it is going to move and that path traveled by the positive charge is what you call electric field line so in order to understand gauss law we need to first understand what are lines of force so here we call it electric lines of force so electric lines of force are imaginary first of all we need to understand that they are imaginary and it is a mathematical construct some mathematical construct so it is not real it's a mathematical construct hence it is uh, not correct to say that lines of force are flowing it is not flowing it is static it is first of all static so how do you draw lines of force if there is a charge surrounding this charge will be field in order to visualize you're going to place a unit positive charge over here this positive and positive will repel so it will go repel it will keep on repelling so it will go away like this and here if you keep it will go away like this here it will keep it will go away like this see you see that from a positive charge lines of force move we should not say that move they flow i mean they are kind of radially outward lines of force actually it's a path it's a path of the positive charge from a positive charge is radially outward if what if this charge is negative if you keep any positive charge over here because the condition is you, you have to draw lines of force using a positive charge if you keep positive charge it will be attracted by the negative charge then all the lines of force will come toward the negative charge so basically the point is if there is a positive charge a point charge then lines of force are radially outward if there is a negative charge lines of force are radially inward basically lines of force originate from they are originating from originate from positive charge and terminate at negative charge terminate at negative charge lines of force are imaginary they are mathematical construct they are static they are not flowing and lines of force from a positive charge they actually they are radially outward from a negative charge they are radially inward in other terms we are saying that it originate from positive charge and terminate at negative charge so then the other thing is once we say this we need to uh, find out the two more things what if you have a positive charge and you have a negative charge over here so how does the line of force will flow we should not say flow right so if this is a positive charge here the electric field will be radially outward 
because of this negative charge it will be radially inward toward it because this point is lying close to this positive charge the positive chain uh, strength will be more because this negative charge is far away from this point strength will be less then the net will be not on this side not on this side but more on this side this way the po positive charge will tend to move and at a point here which is equidistant from positive charge and negative charge we are assuming that these two magnitudes are same and they are opposite it in kind then here the positive charge electric field will be this way because of the negative charge electric field will be this way these two are equal in magnitude but in different direction then the resultant field will be this way so if you connect all the points the lines of force will move from here to here like this and here the lines of force will move like this here it will move like this if there is a positive charge and there is a negative charge lines of force move like this what if both are positive charges or both are negative charges basically if both the charges are like charges what will happen and here at this point electric field because of this positive charge will be this way because of this positive charge will be this way but the thing is this will be lesser this will be more it will be more or less like this but exactly at equal point here they cancel out each other there won't be any lines of force here it will be like because of this charge it will be this way because of this charge it will be this way then it will go out like this so the lines of force here it will go out like this if the positive charge and negative charges are there if both are positive both are negative will be like this what if both the charges are not equal in magnitude suppose if both the charges are not equal so this is positive this is let's say less positive then the lines of force will be like this the lines of force will be like this so how many lines of force you can draw you can draw a lot of lines of force the more the charge the more will be the field the more the charge more will be the field the more the field the more the field there will be more lines of force so basically once you draw lines of force once you draw lines of force there is an important property that you're going to do suppose this is a positive charge initially we took this is a negative charge right the lines of force will flow like this i mean uh, again correct me like it's not flowing the lines of force will be like this so what is because we know that electric field is a vector vector must have got a direction here based on the lines of force because uh, this is a new thing please understand this here we are going to define electric field not in terms of force experienced by a unit positive charge we are going to define electric field based on electric lines of force electric lines of force are the paths traveled by a unit positive charge it's an imaginary path traveled by a unit positive charge once you draw path you are visualizing the field once you visual and here the lines of force will be like this because it's radially outward here it is radially inward once you are visualizing once you start visualizing the electric field in terms of lines of force you should be able to tell the direction the direction of the electric field is tangent it's a tangent electric field you would like to find out at one point suppose at this point you would like to find out electric field at this point electric field is a tangent to the lines of force in this is a line of force in this line of force you draw a tangent that gives the direction of electric field at that point so again i'm saying lines of force are imaginary they are mathematical construct they are static and not flowing and lines of force originate from positive charge and terminate at negative charge since there are no uh, for every positive charge there is no condition that there should be equal number of negative charges i mean overall then lines of force if only positive charge exists it will go radially outward up to infinity if there is a negative charge it will start from positive charge and terminate at negative charge the direction of the electric field is the tangent direction of the electric field at a point is a tangent to line of force La tangent to line of force at that point the direction of the electric field at a point is a tangent to that point that's how we define the direction of the electric field based on lines of force and most important thing they never intersect they never intersect so you know that 
they never intersect because at this point it is a resultant of this if if they happen to intersect based on this if the two line of force intersect like this that means tangent at this point will have one in this direction one in the other direction that means that uh, same charge is trying to move in two different directions under the influence of one electric field which is not possible that is why lines of force never intersect lines of force are imaginary paths traveled by unit positive charge they never intersect they originate from positive charge they terminate at negative charge since they are mathematical construct they never flow they are static and the most most important point that is going to lead us towards gauss law is that this one this one the more the electric field more will be the lines of force so number of let n be the number of lines of force number of lines of force will be more if electric field is more but electric field will be more if there is more amount of charge because charge is something providing or producing electric field the more the charge the more the electric field the more the electric field there will be more the number of lines of force if the number of lines of force are crowded together electric field is stronger if they are far apart electric field is weaker then the number of lines of force is directly proportional to q in our si system it is defined in such a way that it is defined in such a way that this proportionality constant is 1 by epsilon naught so the number of lines of force the number of lines of force is equal to q by epsilon naught if there is a charge q how many lines of force we can draw out of this based on si system based on cj system it will be different based on si system you can draw q by epsilon naught lines of force if there is only one coulomb of charge how many lines of force you can draw one by epsilon naught in a medium you can draw one by epsilon so the number of lines of force originating from one coulomb of positive charge one coulomb of positive charge in vacuum will be one by epsilon naught in two coulomb of charge it will be two by epsilon naught in q coulomb of charge number of lines of force will be q by epsilon naught